Hi, I'm Gary Parker. I'm the owner of the Wine Cellar Brasserie here in San Diego, California. And with me is... Myers McDougall, certified sommelier from the Court of Master Sommeliers, working nightly up in the brasserie. We've got a little Chenin Blanc here from Domaine Gil Pithon uh, from Anjou. And I did not just sneeze, that's the region right next to um, the region we just talked about in Muscadet, so a little yeah. bit farther to the east. Yeah, 100% Chenin Blanc. This has a bit more color on it. And, yeah, definitely. Um, uh, a lot of uh, uh, oak aging consideration was put into this wine. And also you can see how much richer and thicker it is uh, coating the glass. Nice legs. Yeah, nice legs, very viscous mm -hmm. and uh, aromatic. Kind of peachy and nutty, yep. you know, at the same time. And uh, uh, you can just tell it's rich in enveloping. I agree. Um, so for a lot of people that aren't familiar with Shannon, it kind of reminds me of a, um, uh, what do you think? It's like a Pinot Blanc with a good bit of acidity that has a little bit more fruit. It, it does really fall into its own category. So for the wine club members, um, please uh, look forward to trying this. You know, I think um, Chenin Blanc is kind of misunderstood like Riesling is. I agree. Riesling is one of the best wines there is in the, all the world, yet we don't really drink very many of them over here. We drink Sauvignon Blanc and Chardonnays and Pinot Blancs and things like that, but Rieslings make some of the greatest wines in the world, as do Chenin Blancs. Yes. Uh, it's just that we don't really see them very much, and Chenin Blanc was maligned, I think, in its early history when we had the one gallon and two gallon bottles of Chenin Blanc or something Blanc or yes. Chenin something. And, uh, I think the same thing happened to Chablis too. Sure, it, just, it was destroyed. I love good Chablis and the same with good uh, Chenin Blancs from the Loire. They're world class wines that just aren't out on the international market like they should be. I totally agree. I totally agree. And this one's interesting in that it's the last vintage for this producer. Uh, he um, suffered from uh, heavy debt and ended up selling out uh, to a, an owner. He was to work as a consultant and they didn't get, quite get along or see eye to eye and he left. And uh, so there will there be no more uh, Domaine Joe Pichon. So a uh, homage to Domaine Joe Pichon 2006. Cheers to you.